Hello and welcome to your Rochester Rundown for the week of February 11th. Let's get to it. Masking indoors is no longer mandated by the state of New York. Governor Kathy Hochul announced the end of that rule Wednesday with COVID-19 cases on the decline. The state's masking mandate, though, is still in place for schools. The governor said health officials will reevaluate that requirement after February break. I uh, want to deal in the reality that we have a very good picture that has been painted over the last few weeks, and particularly uh, as we are approaching the expiration date of this temporary measure that's been in place now literally for two months. County, cities and businesses will be allowed to make their own respective decisions for masking or vaccine requirements if they choose to do so. Wegmans, Tops and the Blue Cross Arena are among some of the businesses no longer requiring masking in their facilities. The state's Office of Cannabis Management has a warning for businesses suspected of illegally selling cannabis, including the practice of gifting. Stop now or risk losing the opportunity to get a license in the legal market in the future. Some businesses have reportedly been selling a product or service, adding marijuana as a gift in return. Officials say this is illegal and business owners who do it also risk facing substantial fines and possible criminal penalties. We heard from many of you this week following our News 8 investigation into outlandish RG&E bills going out to a number of homeowners. RG&E said at least when it comes to Brighton, the town chose to opt into a green energy program and there were some charges made that RG&E is now trying to fix. The issue comes down to charges for source power, solar energy and meter readings or the lack thereof. God help me, I don't know what the bill is going to be when they have an actual reading and frankly, I don't know whether or not to believe it. Source Power tells News 8 many of the costs customers are seeing are actually credits that were quote, misapplied over time that will need to be recovered. Source Power says it is working with customers and RG&E to resolve the problem. Local first responders are reminding snowmobilers to stay safe after a snowmobile went into the Erie Canal Sunday. Six others were trapped on the ice when rescue crews arrived. One of the riders was hospitalized. The others refused treatment. According to the Coast Guard, snowmobiles and ATVs need at least five inches of ice to stay safe. So there's no surefire way to determine whether it's safe to walk on or not. Uh, there can be signs of if ice is deteriorating, it could be uh, standing water on top of it is a sign that it's deteriorating and melting. And other tips to keep in mind, have a plan, wear bright colored clothing and do not go out on the ice alone. 23-year-old Pittsburgh native Chris Lillis won gold Thursday at the Beijing Winter Games. Lillis, alongside teammates Ashley Caldwell and Justin Schoenfeld, placed first in the Olympics' first-ever mixed-team aerials event. His back double full, full double full was given the highest score of any jump in the finals. This was the United States' first medal in aerials since 2010. The application portal for this year's Summer of Opportunity in Rochester is now open. The program is a collaboration between the City of Rochester and community partners. It provides summer jobs to kids 14 to 20. Rochester Mayor Malik Evans says this program can serve as a tremendous step in getting teens and young adults ready to take on the world. Gives them a great uh, summer job opportunity, but also they're learning all these soft skills that will carry over into adulthood, work ethic respectfulness, teamwork, positivity, communication, uh, listening skills, empathy, self-confidence, problem solving. All of these are important skills that these young people will be learning while also getting a paycheck. So uh, this keeps young people out of trouble. It puts money in their pocket, but more importantly, it sets them up for the future. For more details, interested participants can visit cityofrochester.gov or call 585-428-6366. And a Rochester staple is coming back to downtown, the Topps St. Patrick's Day Parade. This will be the 45th parade after a two-year hiatus. The theme this year, the Trinity and the Shamrock. About 100,000 people are expected to attend, and it all starts at 1230 on Saturday afternoon, March 12th. That's all for this week. We'll see you next Friday.